welcome to today's video. Today, I am going to be doing a full unboxing, assembling review of the Cyrusher Monta. Super cool bike, super excited. I'm about to take it for its first test drive, but first, let's unbox it. Here we go. Hey guys. What's up, <laughs> guys? We are back. This is a bonus video today. We are gonna be reviewing this e-bike. These guys sent us to it. It is the Cyrusher Monta and I am super excited for it. Um, we're gonna review it, we're gonna open it, you're gonna see the whole process from, we've re I've reviewed a few bikes. I kind of like e-bikes. I'd say you're e like an e-bike pro at this kind point. Kind of become an expert on them. And I they're know. not all created equally. Yeah, there are some that are different. favorites, and I've even noticed the kids like avoiding certain bikes because they're maybe slower, but I do think all of the brands have faster and slower models, so yeah. So we're comparing apples to But also the technology stuff. is getting better with That's these true. bikes as I've been reviewing. Battery them. life. Yeah, just all of it. All uh, the seat adjustments, there's a lot of cool things. So I'm excited to tear into this and see what it has in store for us. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna unbox it, assemble it, take it for a test drive, test it out, and let's go for it. So let's open it up and get started. It's not super heavy. Oh, I already love the color! There it is. Boom. Black and yellow. Yellow. I like the fat tires. Look like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Um, this is a cool looking bike. I'm loving this already. I love it. This is gonna be one of the favorites, I can tell. Typically for most of these bikes. <gasps> The seat. That's a good seat. Oh, this is mine. Ah. It's fat and it's like gel. Yeah. And it has a vent in it. Like, what? This, that's unique. I haven't seen that before. Um, typically for most of these bikes, all you have to do is put on the front wheel and the handlebars and you're good to go. It's not that, it's not that. I big. did get some accessories for this. I got a bike, a little rack that goes here and it show, grab the bag right there. Um, there's some fun accessories you can get with bikes. So if you go on a little adventure, you or go to the store for the treats, you can just throw some stuff in and not a huge lunch bag. In but there or a camera. Yeah. So I'm here. excited to get all that put together. So let's do this. Let's put it together. Ooh, it, comes, it comes with tools. I love that. Look at this. Cool. It comes with tools. First looks here. I love the yellow on the inside of it. Here's the seat April was so excited about. It's soft, it's like battery. gel. That's the battery pack that really goes inside of it. I think it's gonna be the best seat that this we have. This is nice. Okay, it's packaged very well and protected. I don't see any like dings or things that happened in shipping. Okay, what's first step? Okay, we have to make sure this is facing the way it is, forward like that. Okay. And then place the handlebars in the mount. And then, yeah. Like that. Wait, right, it's gonna be like, oh wait, no, that's backwards. What do you think? Okay. Do it. Oh, this yeah. probably changes spots. There we go. To about like that. Okay, handlebar is on. Ready to go. Okay, step two, we're tightening up the stem. Okay, what's the next step? Put the front wheel between this little brake pad, this brake. Line it up. That take out, caliper. Take uh, the, whatever that thing is called, that rod out. Time. Yeah, oh, there it is, so. This is what holds on the wheel. Okay, um, you think we wouldn't make these kinds of mistakes, but this, well, I think April did this. No, it's, it shows right here that it's uh, not backwards. This is backwards. Okay, to make okay sometimes we make some mistakes. Okay, so Just it's an this. easy fix. It's there the fork go. itself. There we go. Oh wait, spin it the other way. Spin it the other way, the trust other me. Way. Yes. There it goes. <laughs> dun, dun, right dun, dun. Right. Now we're in business. I should have known because this is where like the headlamp goes yeah. and anything else. Okay, so. well that's easy. So okay. just tighten it back up. Okay, now we're looking better. Now we're gonna lift it up and place it on. This does help to have uh, two people do this. Okay, that took a little bit of work to get in. I do feel like the caliper might be need to be adjusted just a little bit because it. We'll see once we start riding it. There's got to be a way to do that. It's, well, it is. It's just there's two screws on. I the bet side you at the it. last step it says like adjust the brakes. 
Okay, there's a little mini R, right goes on right, left goes on right, and it spins the opposite of what you would think. So they just screw in and we'll probably need a wrench. All right, next up is the headlight. We're just going to unscrew this, slide it on, and then you plug this little yellow thing into this little yellow thing. Boom, we're in. Okay, it did come with two mirrors, but I don't know how they go on, and I don't really care if we have them, so I'm just going to leave them off. And we'll get started with other things. So. Okay, I'm getting the rack out, and I'm actually excited about this. It looks like good heavy duty that perhaps a person <laughs> could sit on if question. needed. You hear what I said? That I, perhaps a person could sit on if needed. So. Probably suggest not to do that. Yeah. Yeah. We kind of tuned out for a second. We are getting all this figured out. Um, this wheel cover, it's not super clear instructions. You kind of just have to figure out what works and what doesn't work, but um, well, we're figuring it out. We mounted this to this. Okay, we're getting the rack on. I am excited to ride this thing. I got the, I pulled the battery out charging? to charge it. Yeah, I got it charging. Okay, there it is. I have the battery. It is nice that the batteries come out. I normally don't really take them out to charge them, but um, I'm gonna charge it up and take it for a test drive. The light is finally green. We charged the bike long enough, but it is now dark outside, so it's gonna have to wait a little bit to go to the first ride. I don't think I've actually waited for any of the bikes any of the e-bikes I've tested for them to charge. So we actually did it this time. I'm, they gave very specific instructions. Don't ride it until you charge it. Maybe it helps with battery life, I don't know. First things first, I love the way this bike looks. Um, it's super cool, it's big, it's meaty, it's powerful. Um, I'm gonna, I might attempt to ride it till the battery runs out. I haven't done that, I've reviewed a few other bikes. Um, but we're gonna go for it. I've got my 360 camera. I got this awesome pack on the back and super soft seat. It's hot outside today, um, but we're just gonna go for it. And I'm gonna give you guys my honest, unbiased review of this. So here we go. First time turning on. So here's the controls we've got so far. We've got plus and minus. I'm not sure what these do on the side yet. We're gonna have to figure that out. Got seven gears up here and a horn and lights. So here we go. Let's turn it on. Let's check out the LCD first time. Powering it up. Come on, focus. Okay, we've got 100% and 0 0.3 miles on us. That's my starting uh, on the odometer. What do these do? Oh, okay, that's just, oh, okay. Oh, it just changes a few different settings right here. Uh, trip max average odometer plus and minus here on this this controls how much it's assisting you lights on lights off okay i'm gonna be bringing some water with me looks like we've got a water holder right here in this bag or put one fill it full of goodies all right and here we go test drive love the seat already super comfortable uh, comfortable handles. I like the, if you can see this, I like the throttle there. It kind of feels like a motorcycle. I like that. Very comfortable bike. So I'm going to keep it on uh, assist level three. You can have it at zero and that's zero assist up to level five. And I'm hitting 20 miles an hour. <laughs> I got to shift gears a little bit hitting 20 miles an hour really easy with level three but we're just gonna keep on riding it and let's see what this baby can do so far so good um, one thing to note when you're looking at e-bikes there's you I know Rusher has a few different models. You kind of want to pick one according to how you're going to be using it. If there's zero chance you're going to be using it off-road or in dirt, you probably don't need to get one that has uh, fat tires or, or shocks. But if there's a chance you're going to be going off-road or going off big bumps, you're definitely going to want I love I love the bikes with the fat tires and the... 
Oh yeah, the ones that have the fat tires and the shocks. They're a no-brainer for me. Um, Nissan, the same as most e-bikes, you can either engage the assist with by pedaling, and then it just kind of makes you feel like you're super powerful, or like I was showing you before, the throttle itself is the other way to adjust it. <laughs> That's a different sound. <laughs> The horn is nice to have if you're warning walkers. Uh, some bikes only come with the little ding, ding, ding. I like the buzzer that actually sounds, that makes a sound when you're pushing the button. So I'm just gonna keep riding. I'm gonna turn off the camera for a little bit and we're just gonna go for it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to running the battery out. I've gone exactly three miles on it and it's still on 100%. So <laughs> that is great news that the battery lasts forever. And but I don't know if I'm going to make it to the end, but we'll see. Um, it's been mostly flat. I'm going to try to start finding some more hills so it's more of an average average ride, not just straight. But this is a really good hill. Some e-bikes have so little power that on a hill, you can't even make it up it without pedaling pretty hard. This is a pretty, pretty decent hill, but we're going to see how it goes. Um, I'm on level 5 assist. And... <clears throat> So this is what I consider a decent amount of power that it's able to start out, get going, and I can pedal if I want to. So, decent hill. Here we go, let's try to run this battery down. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was reading 96%, 99%. Okay, it's back up to 100%. So, um, I'm at 5.2 5 miles I've gone. It was saying 96%, so I think that's what it really is at. <laughs> I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know what the range of this bike is, but I feel like it's going to be like 100 miles. I don't know. I haven't... I've done some hills, it's been generally pretty flat, I haven't gone up any canyons yet or anything, but so far I'm really impressed with the battery life. Shocks, I love having the bag, super soft seat, comfortable controls, um, so far so good, I'm loving it. Yeah, I was just testing out the shocks. I don't know if I can get a shot of this while I'm riding, but I'm gonna give it a try. So these shocks in the front right here, and then this one in the middle. Let me switch this upside down for a minute. Uh, let me just see if I can. Okay, check it out. I'm gonna give it a kind of Um, I've never had those shocks <laughs> under the seat like that. Kind of, uh, that is really cool. It's super soft. I've got over a few bumps and jumps and nothing, nothing big, but really smooth ride on this thing with the shocks in the front and the shocks underneath the seat. Love it. Okay, we're getting into a lot more hills. I decided to go up a canyon and it's doing great. Quick update, we are at We've gone over 13 miles and we're at 74% battery. All right, I'm going up an entire canyon. We've gone over 15 miles. We're feeling good. Oh man, this is so fun, guys. I, this never gets old. I love it. I feel like a superhero just with superhuman leg powers just cruising up this canyon. It's so awesome. All right, guys, that does it. <laughs> I'm done. I'm running out of daylight. Uh, I was able to get, I got it down to about 38% battery life, and I went 22 miles. And to say I was pedaling is kind of an overstatement. I was only pedaling enough basically to engage uh, the assistance. So that was all bike. And um, I'm guessing I could have got 80, 90 miles if it was going normal speeds. And I also went up an entire canyon. Like I was running out of road to, ru to ride. Um, 
Overall, I give the bike two thumbs up. I love it. Um, the only slightly negative review I would have is um, the seat. I could feel it when I, or the, the bag. I could kind of feel it when I was sitting on it, but having the ability to carry stuff is worth it. You know, it didn't bother me. It didn't, um, I don't think there would be room to actually use the water bottle here. I mean, possibly I could scoot the seat back a little bit. Or turn it around. I could actually, I'm going to try that real quick. Okay, I actually take it back. <laughs> I turned it, I installed it properly, left it onto the front. There's room for the water bottle, so I actually have no negative review for the bike. It feels like high quality component, components. They're going to give you a discount code, so click the link in the description. Check it out. I love the Cyrusher Monta. It's a great bike, high quality. It's a beast of a bike. I really love it, but. Uh, thanks for watching this video and let me know in the comments below uh, if you guys have any bike, what your experience has been, and if you guys have any questions about it. Thanks for watching. Find good and everything. See you tomorrow.